Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In this tutorial, we're going to take a mitten block and use it as the feature block in a winter themed quilt. I have started by opening the project that I did during the last blog post, and it was called Mittens Mittens Who's Got the Mittens. And the reason is I wanted to start with the block that was designed last week. View the project sketchbook, go to Blocks, find the mitten block, and select Edit, and go to Color. The block that we designed had four mittens that came together in sort of a circular pattern. And now I want to create a quilt for that. So select the home screen and select Design a Quilt from Scratch. Do a new quilt on point and then go to the Layout tab and change the number of blocks to 2 by 2. And then change the size to 10 inches. Now the reason I chose 10 inches, that was the size of the block that was designed during the last session. And select Set Block. Locate the mitten block. And with the Controller Command key, select the first on point full square. Now go to Fabric Tools, and I'm going to use the eyedropper and find the snow, uh, let it snow fabric, and I'm going to use the Controller Command key and fill the other spaces. Now I decided that I would like to include some applique in the setting spaces along with the center. And so go to Block Tools, select Open Library, and let's do a search by note card and insert snowflake and select search. So we're going to select snowflake 2 and select edit to block work table. Now this block is a combination poly draw and applique block. We just want to retain the applique portion. So select the Applique tab and use the Pick tool and select the Snowflake. From the main menu, select Edit Copy and then select New Block Applique Motif and then select Edit Paste, followed by Center in Block. Now go to the Color tab and color this and select Add to Project Sketchbook. Now select the Quilt Work Table and select Set Block and select Motifs. Select Layer 2 and drag the motif on the quilt. To resize the block, first select the Adjust tool and then select the arrow next to Adjust Block. Let's start by changing the width and the height to 12. Now even though the block size is 10 inches, if we use 12, it actually fills the block a little bit better. So I'm going to then select Center Horizontally and Vertically. Then go ahead and select Set Block and drag another copy of the snowflake on Layer 2. Now select that with the Adjust tool and for this one we're going to want to center it in the setting square. Once it looks centered, go ahead and zoom in, and if you need to do any further adjustments, go ahead and select Center Vertically. Now I do have my grid snap increments set to 1 inch, and I am going to go ahead and change it to the half inch for the rest. Select the second motif and select Copy, Paste, and move that to the right setting triangle and select Center Vertically. Then do another Copy Paste, move that to the top, and let's select Center Horizontally, and do a final Copy and Paste, and move that to the bottom setting triangle, and select Center Horizontally. Then I'm going to go to the Border tab and change the final border to be a binding, and so I will use mitered, and let's change it to 
3.5 inches. Go back to Design and select Fabric Tools. Make sure you're on Layer 1 and then Color the Border. And select Add to Project Sketchbook. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.